guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna share to you guys my adjustment of status timeline and my experience here in philadelphia field office so before anything else guys i would just like to share my milestone here in youtube finally i reached 5k subscribers so thank you so much guys for supporting my channel and i hope you still continue to support me this 2021 so now let's jump into my aos timeline So after we're seated, she introduced herself, the immigration officer, and we take an oath to tell everything truthfully. So the first question is that she asked me for my name, birthday, and address. And then she asked Ryan the same question, name, birthday, and address. And then after that, she asked for our passport or any valid ID. So I gave her my passport under my married name already since I already processed it with the ROM and then I gave Ryan's uh, passport too. So second question is how we met. So I didn't really overwhelmed her with our story. I just went specific like whatever question she asked me I just answered it specific. So I just told her that we met online on Instagram and then if she has another question then I'll just answer it one by one. So our fourth question is what places we visited when Ryan went to the Philippines. So I answered it Cebu City and to my hometown. So fifth question is how many days he stayed. So she was looking to Ryan so I thought that she was asking Ryan. So Ryan answered it that it was 10 days. Our sixth question is where and when he proposed she didn't really specifically like you need to answer this you need to answer this she just like tries to like establish eye contact to each of us so that's when we know that if she was trying to question me or question ryan and the seventh question is when did i arrive here in the u.s so of course that's for me literally so i just answered september 26 of 2019 and then she asked where we got married so ryan answered that so it's in bluebell pa and then she asked who was there in our wedding so ryan answered that too like his parents and my friend aleka and then she asked for ryan's job specifically and then she asked for my job and then she asked me when i started working so basically that was it i think because i literally like wrote it after the interview so i can share with you guys so after the q a guys she just asked additional documents where you can find on the interview appointment letter of what to bring and what to expect so i was prepared so when she asked for a evidence of being together so i showed her our joint savings bank account our joint income tax return in 2019 that we filed and then our health insurance that i'm under ryan's health insurance and then one bill under both of our names and that's xfinity our internet provider and then that's it she just explained me that in a week or so you're gonna receive your green card and then she told me like in three months before the expiration of my two years green card i need to file for removal of conditions and then she told me if i'm gonna like visit um visit a country outside the u.s that i can't stay more than six months if ever it's an emergency then i need to inform uscis and i need a form for that but if it's below six months that's totally fine and then she said on my third anniversary of my conditional green card then i can apply for citizenship and then that's totally it i think we went in around 11 something 11 5 a.m and then we finish around 11 20 so it was a quick one and then that's it guys we went home we went to starbucks we celebrated we got approved guys 
what a day so on that day of january 13th i checked my case online and it changed to we ordered your new card and the following day january 14th ryan's birthday my case status changed to case was approved just yesterday january 22 i received my green card in the mail so it's like if you have informed delivery in the usps then it's like a package but, but literally it's just a priority flat rate envelope so you will receive it as this one and then inside you'll get the tracking number of the usps your card number your address my name my alien number and then the receipt number of my case and then you receive a envelope where you can put your green card as a protection so they give you that it's inside already got mine and then you have this blue pamphlet so welcome to the united states a guide for new immigrants and um it's just literally like like important stuff that you need to know while being in a conditional green card holder so yep and then of course the most awaited part is your green card so this is mine so this is like the the protection paper that i got in the mail too and then this is my green card so one thing is you really need to make sure that everything in there is correct so your surname your given name uscis number so you need to check that and then category for for k1 if you're if you entered us using k1 visa so it should be cf1 and then country of birth philippines and then my birthday and then you have the card expiration which is two years so it's going to be january 13th of 2023 and then you'll see their residence since january 13th of 2021 and then that's totally it guys after a year and a month of waiting i am finally a resident in the united states and hopefully in three years from now i'll be a citizen so i can petition my mom and sister so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on my next video see you